Hey everyone, Greg here, John's behind the camera. Leah's out this week, she's off fighting crime, but she'll be back next week. Today, we are here to show off a new collectible just for you. It is the Avengers Age of Ultron Mark I Ultron action figure from Hot Toys. So first and foremost, let's take a look at the box. So as you can see the front here, got a really cool design. Let's take a look at the sides. Back, you of course have the Avengers logo. And then let's take a look at the other side. And now let's take a look at the top of the box before we open it up. Alright, let's get to it. So before we open it up, let's take a look at what it looks like inside the packaging. Any James Spader fans out there? Humorously voiced Ultron, the actor. Uh, okay. So, if you do want to get this figure, it's two forty nine ninety nine on our website, or you can stop in and pick it up in store. Not sure if you can see it, but we do have it on display right there. So, if you're curious what it looks like on a display with a pose, right there. And as you can see next to it. Captain America. Obviously, he just heard someone say a naughty word. He's pointing at them and saying language. Uh, you can see we have a bunch of Marvel hot toys as well. We'll we'll take a closer look at those later, though. Right now, it's all about Mark One Ultron. Now, I believe this is his first physical form. Before that, we saw him the digital version and that conflict with Jarvis. And uh, it's not just the figure. He also comes with a damaged. I forget what these are called. I am a terrible uh, Legion. What, what were they? Legion. Yeah, Legion. Thank you very much, John. <coughs> so let's take a look at this. So not only do you get the figure, but you also get a damaged one of his minions. Looking at this damage, probably destroyed by either Captain America or the Hulk. The shield strike or, you know, ripped in half. No arrows, so Hawkeye wasn't here. Or maybe there's an arrow on the lower half. But anyway, let's take a look at the main event. The reason you are watching this, the Ultron action figure. So let's put these aside. Get him on display there. So. All right. As you can see, well, let me take off the plastic first. Please bear with me. He has a lot of strings on him. He claims otherwise, but. All right. This one's being difficult. John is offering me a box cutter. I'm being stubborn though, and I'm attempting to do this. All right. You know what, John? You, you can get your hand a cameo. You want to cut that open? All right, fine. <laughs> I'm gonna open this this way. I know there's people yelling at me right now, like you're doing it wrong. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. The coffee's still kicking in. <laughs> Ultron is very durable, don't worry about it. Alright, let's just, you know what, let's just bypass this part, technical difficulties, and just show off the figure. I mean, look at all the detail here. It, obviously, Hot Toys is known for their likeness. This is uh, pretty incredible, just looking at all the detail. Let's get a close up. I'm just going to get the display stand as well, or attempt to. Now this is wrapped in plastic, but as you can see, it has the Avengers Age of Ultron logo on it. And obviously, you can stand on it. Just like all other uh, Hot Toys figures, these can uh, make a variety of poses. I'm trying to be as delicate as I can here, but... Uh, Plenty of joints which allow for even the fingers on this hand. You can move the individual finger fingers. Even the toes. There's various joints here. So there's a whole lot of poses. You can have a meme the Hulk if you want.
So yeah, this, this is a great figure. It goes for a uh, $249.99, so if you're a big collectible fan and you uh, really love getting, if you enjoy the movies, you enjoy getting movie accurate figures, this is obviously a great choice. Not sure if you saw the detail in here, you have the chipboard and everything. And you have all the wires going throughout, it's really impressive. So not only do we have Ultron, but now let's uh, put him back in there. If you look over here for a second, you can see Ultron on display. That's what he looks like without the plastic. Someone who's adequate at this removed all the plastic, put him on display. And we also have Captain America, of course. He obviously comes with the shield, but it's just not on display there. You have Bruce Banner, and then you have the Hulk. All of these are highly posable back there. You have one of Ultron's minions, Scarlet Witch. Of course, doing the, the Scarlet Witchy hands. And Stan Lee, come on. How could you not want Stan Lee? He's awesome. And over here, you have Frank Castle. This is, of course, based on the uh, comics version. It doesn't represent... At least as far as I can tell, it doesn't look like Ray Stevenson or John Bernthal. It's based on the comics. Back there, you have Sam Jackson to Nick Fury. Fun fact, he is based on the ultimate version of Nick Fury. Even in that comic by Mark Millar and Brian Hitch, they talk about who they would want to play themselves if there was a movie. And Nick Fury said Sam Jackson, of course, or something along those lines. And then you have the boss mode version of Ultron back there. And then we have a bunch of other ones. Of course, we have Star Wars and DC, but we're not here for that. And over here, I'm not sure if you can see them in the shot, there's Rocket Raccoon, a bunch of Iron Mans, Pepper Potts, the Mandarin, some of Tony's other armors. I mean, there are just so many hot toys to choose from. So, once again, to wrap things up, we have the Mark I Ultron action figure from Age of Ultron. Uh, this is a Hot Toys figure, goes for $249.99, great detail, you can tell a lot of work went into building this, connecting all the wiring and everything, it's really, really impressive, so I'll just rotate it just so you can get one final good look at it, before it goes into your collection, of course, then you can look at it as much as you want. Alright, so there you have it. Thank you very much for tuning in this week. Next week we'll have a new unboxing video. Leah will be back doing that one. And again, you can buy this action figure at www.midtowncomics.com or you can find it at any of our three locations here in Times Square, Grand Central, or downtown. Be sure to call in advance just in case because if you're traveling out here just for a very specific item, make sure it's in stock. So give us a call. Thank you very much for watching. Be sure.